With Tinubu's new plan, not more than three ministers will survive by January. Atiku's camp reveals the unbelievable. Nigerians, this will really shock you. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to share. Please, if you cannot share, like. But just share this video, let it go viral. So Nigeria, Nigerians, we understand what is going on. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you. The spokesperson of the Atiku Abubakar Presidential Campaign Organization, Daniel Bowala, has praised President Bola Tinubu's standard for evaluating performance of ministers. Tinubu recently stated that the government officials unable to contribute to his administration sources and meet the public's expectations are welcome to leave. Bowala acknowledged that Tinubu's approach during a retreat titled Delivering on the Renewed, Renewed Hope Agenda held for ministers, presidential aides, permanent secretaries, and top government officials at the presidential villa in Abuja. According to Bawala, if Tinubu had to his performance standard, many ministers might lose their positions by January. He noted that Tinubu's focus on Clearly defined objective could lead to the reintention of any three ministers. Bowala's post read, I have carefully followed the official Barat retreat for ministers and the criteria for measuring performance based upon a clearly defined objective. I dare say, if it is followed religiously by January, but may empty the bucket of ministerial appointees with not more than three ministers surviving, except if Adiza Bala ends up being compromised to cover some ministers. Wahala, Wahala, do he said. So, guys, when I don't hear with any talk now. The spokesperson of the Atiku Abubakar Presidential Campaign Organization, Daniel, he don't call the praise President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He said the standard of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for evaluating the performance of ministers. Tinubu recently stated that government officials unable to contribute to his administration sources and meet the public expectations are welcome to leave. So, if you are not ready to work, you have to go. You understand? You will be sacked. That is what President Bola Mekhtunubu said. He said he's not going to look at anyone's face. You understand? If you are not working or if you are not ready to work, you will be sacked. So, Bawala acknowledged Tunubu's approach during a retreat titled Delivering on the Renewed Hope Agenda, Head for Ministers, presidential aides, permanent secretaries, and top government officials at the presidential villa in Abuja. According to Bawala, he said if Tunubu had this to his performance standard, he said many ministers might lose their positions by January because some of them are just there, you know, just to enrich themselves. They don't really care about the masses. So many of these ministers, so many of these appointees, they don't really, they, they, they are just there because of what they want to gain. You see some of them making mistakes and all that because they don't even know what they are doing. That is what Bawala is just trying to say. He said by January, eh? Tinubu's, uh, Tinubu minister, eh? he said they're not going to pass three. And if you, if, you, if you listen carefully, so what he's trying to say here is that most of those ministers, eh? most of those ministers were not qualified, but they were appointed. You understand if you if you listen carefully so what he's trying to say here is either they are not qualified or some of them are not just ready to work Boala's post said he, okay i read i have carefully followed the official bat retreat for ministers and the criteria for measuring performance based upon a clearly defined objective i dare say it is followed if it's followed religiously by January. 
He said bats might empty the basket of ministerial appointees with not more than three ministers surviving, except if Hadiza Bala ends up being compromised to cover some ministers. He said Wahala Talahi. Okay, me and I understand that one. This is exactly the way to go by setting key performance indicators. You understand? For the apprentice, if you don't perform within the time, the timeline given to you, you can take your leave. It won't be a business as usual because what we are facing now today in Nigeria, he, he don't come off or be careful. Some persons just want to get appointments like say appointment don't turn ceremonial stuff. You are just there getting the appointment for yourself to enjoy yourself. You cruise, you go to your house, you sleep. Are they actually working? Do they really know what they are doing? I think time has come for people to be serious. You understand? For people to be serious with what they are doing. If you know say so you're not going to feel work, you go leave. Okay, someone said here, yeah, if Tunubu chooses to continue on this path, I will stop opposing him and instead start backing him. I have no personal benefits if Tunubu fails as a president. But if he succeeds, Nigeria will succeed. And I will also share in that success. That's good. Anybody who believes the thing, these things, these lies, personified government says must be living in a world without existence. Maybe you just arrived JJC in your mind. Well, I understand why this person talked that thing because so many times we don't hear things like this. Ah, they go pick, it gets action, last, last. It's still, it's still going to be the same story. But let's watch and see. Maybe Tinubu is serious. <laughs> so you cannot tell. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.